In today's video, we are going to talk about the top 10 places to visit in Japan. Japan is effectively one of the most staggering spots on the planet. The nation offers a full scope of nature and culture, from subtropical seashores to blanketed mountains, with futuristic skylines to old sanctuaries. You could spend a lifetime investigating the entirety of the country, but don't worry, I've limited it down to a few places you must see in Japan. So, I hope it makes the job easier for you. Number 10. Keep a check on your wallet in Shibuya We all know that Tokyo is the most populated city in the world, but did you know what it's like to be at the busiest place in Tokyo during peak hours? Well, then you should visit the famous Scramble Crossing near Shibuya Station. This place has foot traffic of over 2.8 million on an average weekday. You cannot stand here, as the crowd will instantly knock you out of their way. And you might have never seen more than 100 people crossing the road as soon as the light turns green. There are also many shopping centers out here, as Japan has a thing for fashion. And this place has some of the hippest and fashionable clothing brands in Japan. The most famous in the area is the Shibuya 109 Shopping Mall, which features several fashion shops providing the latest and, in some cases, the weirdest attires, too. The best part is that it is easily accessible, as it is just a few minutes from the Shibuya train station. Number 9. Get ready for your Instagram photo. Japan is famous worldwide for its dazzling street life displaying the beauty of neon signboards. Kabuicho is one of the places to go to if you want that aesthetic photo for your Instagram. But it is not a place to visit with your family as it is a red light area. However, if you are on your own, you can visit this place for a plethora of beautiful neon signs. Kabukcha's history dates back to the tragic World War II that destroyed Japan. After that, events of the war, a kabuki theater was built in that area. And from there, this red light area got its name. Kabukcha is Japan's largest red light area, having many brothels, pubs, filthy clubs, and other exotic adult attractions. However, Kabukcha is more than just a sex paradise. It is home to the popular robot restaurant, where robots are running the place. And if you are a fan of VR, you can visit the VR Zone Shin, as they offer one of the best VR experiences in the world. Number 8. Strap your boots for Mount Fuji. The world's largest active volcano has drawn challengers from all around the world in recent years. Mount Fuji's climbing season begins in early July and lasts until the middle of September every year. During this short season window, the mountain receives relatively less snowfall, and the weather is often pleasant. That being said, Mount Fuji, despite its beauty, is a difficult mountain to conquer. It looks like an easy ride in the pictures with all the smooth landscape, but in reality, it is a very rugged hike to the top. So, it is advised to do some homework before attempting a climb and have an honest conversation with yourself about your physical well-being, condition, and ability as no one wants to be the guy who's being rescued by a helicopter. Also, do not forget the respect of the mountain along the way. Mount Fuji is one of the three sacred mountains in Japan and has been a pilgrimage site for centuries. Number 7. Spend a day or a night as well in Hakon. While you are going to Mount Fuji, why not visit Hakon as well? If the weather is nice, Hakon is a famous tourist destination with spectacular vistas of Mount Fuji. It is a fantastic full-day excursion, as well as an ideal spot for a nice overnight vacation. Hakone is known for its hot springs, but it also has a lot to offer in terms of entertainment. Consider taking a ropeway tour of Hakone's scorching sulfur pits. It can be an ideal activity for thrill-seekers, or if you want to relax, take a pirate ship ride across the Lake Ashai, or book a cable car ride over the mountains. We told you it had a lot to offer. The hot springs and sites of Mount Fuji are quite famous in this volcanically active area near Fuji Hakone Aizu National Park. Number 6. Experience the nature in Arishiyama Even though most of Kyoto's major attractions are in the east, if you want to add a hint of nature to your trip, you should head to the region of Arishiyama for the classic bamboo forest experience. Arishiyama is located in the western outskirts of Kyoto, and believe me when I say this place is extremely cool. It has long been popular among the Japanese as a natural getaway since the Heian 
era. The walk through the forest is very beautiful, featuring tall bamboo trees aligned in symphony along with lush green pathways. But it takes a lot of time as well, so you should have at least half a day available to have this magical experience. If you want to make your trip a little holistic, you should also visit the historical Tenyorji Temple. Also, add the Iwayatama Monkey Park to the list if you wish to see thousands of monkeys in and out. Number five, make a pit stop at Kobe. Between the sea and Mount Roko is a city that is often overlooked by tourists when they are passing by in a bullet train. But we are highlighting this place for you to keep in mind next time you visit Japan, as it is worth it to spend a day in this beautiful city called Kobe. If you are a beef lover, this place might be the beef paradise for you because Kobe beef is one of the most sought after beef out there. And this is how this place is identified here too. It is worth dedicating a day to for those with the time and hunger. You can also find Arima Onsen in the city of Kobe. This hot spring collection is often regarded as one of Japan's top three hot springs. Kobe, as a port city, also features a beautiful bayside entertainment complex with many activities to do in your free time. You can always visit the bustling Chinatown in the area too, or just sit back and enjoy the views of Mount Roko. Number four, sip your favorite margaritas at the Okinawa Islands. The Okinawa Islands are around two and a half hours away by air from Tokyo. While formerly being a part of Japan, this series of islands can easily be considered a different country. Originally, Okinawa was a separate kingdom known as the Rikyu Kingdom. This legacy is the reason why Okinawa has a very distinct past from the rest of Japan, which is instantly visible in the local cultural motifs. Many Japanese people think of Okinawa as a tropical vacation point or a getaway from their busy daily lives. The island offers a lot of different entertainment activities to make sure that the visitors never get bored out here. If you are not in the mood for them, hit up any end of the island and just spend your days relaxing at the beach. Just don't forget to put on the sunscreen. Number three, wake up early for the Nara Park. Nara Park is roughly an hour south of Osaka and is known for its lovely and playful deers. If you're going to Nara, get there early because many of the sites close at 5 p.m. The park features lush green carpets of grass to roam around in, and it holds some very important cultural aspects too. The giant Buddha at Todeji Temple and the Kazuga Grand Shrine are located in the very park, so pay a visit to them too if you are in the area. Make sure to arrive before lunch to have enough time to roam around the deers and be utterly stunned by the beauty of the park. Number two, one-stop shop for the geeks. The city of Tokyo has an area called Akihabara, which is more popularly known as the geek capital of the world. You'll be hard pressed to find a more comprehensive collection of geek culture anywhere else on the planet. It has everything ranging from anime and manga to all sorts of video games and computers. The center has several arcade zones for the people interested in those and has a huge variety of electronics everywhere. Look no further than magical Akihabara if you want to visit a maid cafe, as the area is very rich in those establishments. When visiting stores, be extremely careful and try not to visit with your families. So many of these anime shops are considered to be much beyond the safe for work category. It's a fair warning. Don't say you didn't get it if something embarrassing happens. Number one, view the city landscapes in Osaka. Osaka is one of the major financial centers in Japan and is home to several large multinational electronic companies like Panasonic. Apart from being an important economic hot ground of Japan, it is also very popular among tourists who are visiting the country for shopping. Danton Bori and the neighboring Shinsabashi Shopping Arcade are two of Osaka's most popular shopping districts. This area has a lot of great street food and other enjoyable things to do, and many people consider it a must-see for anybody visiting Osaka. Keep an eye out for the Glico sign, which is visible from the bridge. It is a significant landmark and icon of the Danton Bori district. Tenaji is Osaka's other major district, which is named after the famed Shitanoji Temple. The temple itself is one of the oldest in Japan, so do check it out if you can spare some time. Back to Tenaji. The Tenaji district offers many attractions to its visitors as well. If you are a fan of art, you can pay a visit to the Osaka Municipal Museum of Art for an unforgettable experience. 
If not the Tenaji Zoo, the Ketakuen Japanese Garden should be enough to keep you entertained for the whole day. In addition to that, there is a 300 meter tall skyscraper, the Abano Harukas skyscraper, in the area as well. If you're a fan of viewing city landscapes at high altitudes, there's no better place in all of Japan. We hope you enjoyed this video. Which place would you like to visit from the list? Let us know in the comment section below the video. And if you like the video, be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you will be the first to know when we publish a new video. Thanks for watching.